Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Applied Energistics 2, also known as AE2, in Minecraft 1.16.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Applied Energistics from downloading it to installing it. All of it's going to be covered in this video. But what is Applied Energistics? Well, it is a really, really cool mod, which if you click on the homepage here, you can see all the different stuff and like wiki information and everything that Applied Energistics does. But basically, it adds in these new blocks, which then allows you to create energy, which then allows you to do things like do storage, and then, you know, store all of your items and blocks and everything in one big storage computer system, making chest irrelevant, and just literally you have a server room that you can kind of put down and away, because you can connect it with, like, different cables and things. So you can put a server room down and away, and then, like, in your main area, just have a computer that you access all of your items from, you get your items out, you add items into it, it sorts it, it takes care of everything. It is incredible. As you can see, there are also different tools that it has, different decorative blocks, and then also some cool stuff that adds to world gen here. ME Networks is what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is a hardware bay. I, think, I believe this is going to be your, you know, like display port and ability to like access your terminal. Yes, it's going to be your terminal there. And then these are the different storage cells. And if we click on these, as you can see, these can hold 128 blocks or 127 stacks of a single item or 65 stacks while holding 63 different items. So as you can see, awesome stuff there, different storage methods. It's incredible. I love applying logistics. It is the coolest storage system in Minecraft ever in my opinion. I'm a tech person and this is a tech based storage system. But today you don't need this homepage unless you want it. You can get it here from the uh, download page. That's the second link down below. But you're here to install Applied Energistics and Minecraft. First though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex. Get an incredible 24 hour do not check in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex. Get a Minecraft server up and running quickly and easily. Now let's, let's go ahead and get Applied Energistics. To do this, you want to go to the second link down below that's going to take you here again if you do have any issues like you know once you get in game you want to figure out more about applied energistics you can click on the home page here and that will take you off to once you click that little purple link this page where you can click around and see all the information about everything however we are here to install them on and that's going to be at the second link down below once you're here come over here to the right hand side scroll down and this is a bit tricky so there's the minecraft 1.16 section here but instead of going ahead and slapping the purple download button, what you want to do is make sure you're downloading the one that is the most recent under Minecraft 1.16. So as you can see here, this one was uploaded August 24th. That's not what we're looking for because this one right here was uploaded 21 hours ago, right? So look for the one that was downloaded most or uploaded most recently, right? Which is going to be you know, 21 hours ago, for example, this might say September 8th versus August 24th. So as you can see, August 24th is before September 8th, and thus you would download the one from September 8th. So you want to go ahead and download the most recent version that has been uploaded under recent files, Minecraft 1.16, and that's going to be this one here. Now that's going to take us off to this page where the download is going to begin in a few seconds. Now we are going to need to keep slash save this file. So once it starts downloading in the bottom left, we'll see it says Applied Energistics. That means we can go ahead and keep the file. Almost like Firefox, you need to save the file in the center of your screen. Either way, you're good to save or keep the file. Now we aren't done yet, we still need to download Forge. Like, let me have this in-depth Forge guide here. However, I'm going to be going over the basics of Forge and doing a little bit of troubleshooting in this video. However, overall, if you do have any issues with Forge, come here, go through this in-depth tutorial. It's going to help you. We're giving you the basics here with this video. Nevertheless, once you're here from the third link down below, by the way, you can find Forge at the third link down below. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. They'll take you to Forge's official website where we want to make sure it says Minecraft 1.16.2 here. As you can see, it doesn't. So what we want to do is click on the plus 1.16 button up here in the top left under Minecraft version, and then click on 1.16.2. Once it does say MC 1.16.2 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click any download buttons on this page whatsoever. Don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button that's going to appear in the top right after 7 seconds. Don't click anything on this page at all, except the red skip button in the top right. Once you click on that red skip button in the top right, in the bottom left on Google Chrome, Forge will appear. As long as it says Forge, you're good to keep it. If for whatever reason it doesn't, just click Discard and then click that red skip button and then you can keep the file in the bottom left. It should say Forge in the title. Now on Mozilla Firefox, same thing. It'll say Forge in the title and it'll be in the center of your screen. Just save the file and you'll be good to go. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser, here on the desktop we have Forge and we have Applied Nergistics. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge because you need to install Forge to get Applied Nergistics. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge. Click on Open 
open with, and then you should have Java here. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if you don't have these Java logos? Actually, what if these even aren't even, aren't even on your desktop? Well, if they aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, click that little Windows icon to the top or bottom left of your screen, type in downloads, you'll have this downloads file folder in Windows, and in here you'll find Forge and Applied Nergistics. It was hiding on my second monitor. In here you'll find Forge and Applied Nergistics. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Then again, what if these don't have the Java Coffee Cup logo? Or what if you don't have Java when you right click on Forge and click on Open With? What if this isn't here? Well, if that's the case, what you want to do is go to the description down below and come here. This is our in-depth guide to how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Applied Nergistics is a Minecraft mod last time I checked, so that means we need to download Java for it. So you can come here, go through this tutorial, and then you'll be good to go. However, if for whatever reason your Java logos still don't look correct or something like that, something weird's going on. Well, if that's the case, what you want to do is run the jar fix. And you can find the jar fix linked in the description down below. It'll take you here to this link where you can just run the jar fix in this simple three-step process. Finally, though, we can go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now to open up the mod system installer for Forge, this is pretty simple here as well. Just click on install client and click OK. So I'm going to download, do some things, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 1.16.2. And yeah, it, it might take it a minute, but eventually it's going to say successful installed client profile Forge and we'll be good to go. Can't tell I've done this quite a few times, so I know pretty much exactly what it's going to say here. We're just waiting at this point. Should be about to finish up now. There we go. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.2. What did I tell you? Awesome stuff. We can go ahead and click OK there. Now it's time to install Applied Nergistics. You can delete Forge off your desktop. Sometimes you can't do that right away, by the way. And if that's the case, just open Minecraft and then close out of it. We're about to do that. So when you do that, you should be able to delete Forge at that point. But nonetheless, let's install Applied Nergistics. The first thing we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, though. And before slamming that play button, you want to make sure you have your Forge profile selected. Now, it's automatically selected for me down here in the bottom left. But if you don't see Forge, let's say you see latest release or something like that, click on this little arrow to the left of the play button. Then find your Forge profile and then click on it. It should say 1.16.2-Forge under it. But what if you don't have a Forge profile? Or what if you do and it doesn't say 1.16.2? Well, no worries. We have a solution. And that solution is just click on the Installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on the plus new button here. So click on that plus new button, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible Minecraft server. We have grief protected survival, amazing custom skyblock, and truly amazing custom factions, small team player based factions. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. You're going to absolutely love it. But nevertheless, once you have entered in your name there, we want to click on the versions drop down box. Then we want to scroll down until we see release 1.16.2 Forge. Here's mine, release 1.16.2 Forge. And we have to scroll down a ways to find it. Yours may be at the very, very bottom of your versions list, actually. I've seen that before. But mine's right up here at the top, release 1.16.2 Forge. Click on that. I'm also going to change our resolution just so we can see better once we get in game. We are making a video after all. And then we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now, down here at the bottom, we have our new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. And under that, it says 1.16.2 Forge. That means without any issues, we can hover over it and click that green play button. And then go ahead and open up the Forge profile and we can install Apply Energistics 2. Actually, the hardest part of this is now done. The hardest part of getting a Forge mod is actually installing Forge. Moving forward, it's pretty simple. And drag and drop. Uh, and click some buttons. It's, it really is that simple. That's all it is, to be honest, from this point forward. So anyway, opening up Minecraft. Normal you're opening up as the mod loader is doing its thing before Minecraft does open. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can then go ahead and click on mods here. So we have this mods tab on the main menu. And then down here in the bottom left, we have this open mods folder button. I'm going to go ahead and make our GUI just a little bigger so you all can see exactly what I'm talking about. But we have this mods button here. And then in the bottom left, we have the open mods folder button. Click on that and that's going to open up. You guessed it, our mods folder right here. Now, all we need to do to install Applied Energistics into Minecraft 1.16.2 is take it from our desktop and drag and drop it into this mods folder. It's that simple. Now, again, that was just click on the mods folder button in the bottom left and then drag and drop Applied Energistics into there. Now, finally, we can go ahead and get this working. To do that, you want to click Done, and then you want to quit the game. Because if you click on Mods or whatever, it's not going to show up. You need to quit Minecraft, and then you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher again. This time, you don't have to do anything crazy, though. You'll either have your Forge profile down here, or you'll have your play.breakdowncraft.com profile that you created. So go ahead and click on that. If it's not selected, select the one that has Forge, and then go ahead and click Play. Now, Minecraft 1.16.2 will open up, and Applied Nergistics will be installed. Now, I will say that it's very, very, very buggy at this point. It is literally an alpha build. It's the second alpha build, and they are working on it as much as they can. But the world generation and stuff like that are 
please do not use this in a world where you want you know like make sure you're okay with losing the world you use applied logistics on right now it's going to get more stable over time but until it does be careful using this i cannot stress that enough however we will see once we get on the main menu that it is in the mods tab i am going to open a world up with it but i'm going to warn you that it may be buggy as the mod gets more and more stable this tutorial will still work moving forward so that's okay if we click on mods here, we do have Applied Nerdistics 2, as you can see, is the Alpha 2 version. Then we can click on single player. I'm going to do a AE2 world, so AE2. I don't think they have any, uh, you know, special, special like world generation for this, but we will check real quick. Doesn't look like they do. Awesome. So we'll just go ahead and keep this default. Wait, if I can click to it. There we go. And then now I'm going to go ahead and click done. Allow cheats because that's just easier. We'll make it creative because that's easier. And create new world. Now again, there is some world generation issues right now. It should be okay, but we may have issues. And if we do, that's okay. That's why mods have bugs and bugs get fixed, right? So anyway, I think we're going to be okay opening this, but I'll see a quick jump cut once we're finished. There we go. We opened it up without any issues and um, actually loading chunks pretty well. So awesome stuff there. If we hit E and go over, we do have our applied energistics stuff here. As you can see, this is the um, facades. Yes, that's how that word said. And then there's the main mod as well. As you can see, we've got these logic circuits. We've also got, let's see, yeah, there we go. We've got the storage cells as well, all the way up to a 128 to the third spatial storage cell. It's crazy stuff. And then we also have our servers. Now, obviously you will have to uh, generate electricity for this to work, right? You will have to generate electricity to be able to power your servers and power your you know storage system. But overall, it is a pretty cool thing. So there we go, ME drive. So I'm pretty sure if we place this down, it has been a while, but we can now place uh, these storage cells. Not this one, seems like that one's gonna be unformatted. Seems like it needs something special, but as you can see, these two right here are now in there. And we can hook them up to this, I believe. Let's see, is that gonna let that work? Yep, there we go, we have a terminal. There is no power, so you can't add anything to this, obviously. Once you get power, you can actually add stuff to this and, and make it work. But we don't have any power, but as you can see, that's kind of the basics of it. Everything is stored in these drives, and then in here, you'll be able to access all of your items. You can search for items. You can, you know, do all of that from here, which is pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, awesome stuff there. Nonetheless, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and enjoy Applied Energistics too. Again, this is a, my favorite, by far, my favorite mod for Minecraft when it comes to storage. 10 out of 10, it's gonna be on our top five mod list. Even though it is still in alpha, I am including it because that is just that good of a mod. But nevertheless, enjoy it. I hope you all do enjoy it. If you've never tried this mod, give it a shot. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.